Now let's turn away for a moment from coronavirus and actually bring you some sad news. The electronic music pioneer and the co-founder of the German group Kraftwerk, Florian Schneider, has died at the age of 73. <laughs> Schneider's revolutionary use of synthesizers in the 1970s helped define the sound of pop and dance music in the decades that followed. The band enjoyed international success with tracks such as Autobahn, Radioactivity and of course The Model. Well, earlier I spoke to Dan Laxman, a producer who worked with Florian in 2015. He really liked uh, good beer, good, good food and etc. Not only electronic. He was not a robot. <laughs> Kraftwerk, they made their fame on this kind of robotic synthesizer sound. Yep. The robot pop set the template for absolutely everything then coming after it. Did he realize just how inspirational and how much impact he was making on the music world? I think so. But uh, at the time, the synthesizers were new, so it was a discovery also for everybody. But uh, of course, uh, it was a big inspiration for me and, and my band Telex too. So when we heard the first Kraftwerk Autobahn, we really uh, uh, wanted to make the same, same kind of, of, of music, of sound using synthesizers and so. And you've, there's no, you've got to just absolutely appreciate what an impact they made. They were described as the electronic Beatles of their time. It's, it's remarkable how they brought this new type of sound into the mainstream. Yes. Yes, because they really used, uh, it was a bit, we can say now, minimalist, but so efficient. So the, they were so, <clears throat> the sounds were really handcrafted, no, no, uh, uh, nothing pre-programmed, nothing. The sounds were really made with uh, analog synthesizers and everything was really uh, handmade and new. Dan Laxman there who worked and knew Florian Schneider who has died at the age of 73.